four seeds remain as the women's basketball semifinals tip off on Monday on the Patriot League Network. That includes the three-time defending Patriot League champion Navy Midshipman, who cruised to a big win over Lehigh in the quarterfinals. Hey everyone, I'm Melanie Plowski and it's time to preview Monday's semifinals. But first, let's take a quick look at the quarterfinals from Thursday. Navy came out on fire and never looked back, as Kara Pollinger led four players in double digits with 17 points in an 84-54 win. Audrey Bauer added 14 points for the mids, who are really showing how nice it is to have a quartet of four-year starters on the court. I think last night our overall team chemistry um, just really showed on the court, and it felt really good to play out there. And like you said, we've been playing together for quite a while, so um, yeah, we just really felt really together last night, which was good. Second-seeded Army overcame a pair of scoring droughts to beat Boston U 49-45 Thursday, with Kelsey Minato scoring 26 points and Jen Hazlett posting a double-double with 11 points and 11 boards. Minato hit four free throws down the stretch to seal the big win. That just shows the toughness of our team and uh, what we can do down the stretch because in the past few years we haven't been very good at, at uh, winning those close games and grinding through those close games. So, I mean, it really says a lot for the team that we have this year. Able to get that win, especially when we weren't really really hitting too many shots, and um, we were just able to come through. Kelsey, obviously, is great in the clutch, and uh, she she'll make those big free throws for us, and she did a great job last night. Third seeded American battled from behind to avoid the upset against number six Lafayette, erasing a seven point halftime deficit to win 51 49. Alexis Dobbs scored a team high 14 points and hit three threes to lead the Eagles. It was a great win for us. Um, it's definitely not a team that we were overlooking, overlooking. Uh, the first time around when we played them. They played a tough 3 2 matchup zone which we struggled with, so we knew that coming into the game. So it was really nice that we were able to make changes at halftime so that we can execute better against their zone um, and come out with the win. Number 5 Holy Cross weathered the first half storm and pulled away in the second half to win 79-66 behind a strong offensive showing by Raquel Scott, who scored 27 points in the win. She and teammate Alex Smith were completely in sync as Smith dished out 12 assists to go with her 13 points. It was a great feeling and we played very well together. Everyone contributed a lot last night. Although we didn't want to travel, we ended up having to travel and it was a little bit of adversity being on the road in a six hour bus ride, but we overcame it all and we ended up getting a great win. It was a great team win, great chemistry, and I think it was a great boost in our morale. One of the semifinals will pit the number one Navy Midshipmen versus the number five Holy Cross Crusaders in a rematch of the last two Patriot League Championship games. Holy Cross senior Alex Smith says that this semifinal will certainly have a championship feel to it. Yeah, I think it will definitely have um, a great feel to it, a great championship feel. Um, Navy always brings a great crowd. Um, I know most of our parents definitely come down to support us, so the cadets will be there and all of their fans, so hopefully it'll be a great feeling and um, it will have a championship feel. Holy Cross, every every year, you know, like you said, in the championships and everything, even this year, the two games we've had against them are always really tough, so um, we'll just be preparing uh, this weekend for that big game on Monday. To get over the hump, um, we have to stay focused defensively and offensively. They're a great program. They've won the past three years. They have um, a lot of versatility, so we have to make sure that we hone in and focus with our game plan, um, play good defense, and get out and play offense. Navy and Holy Cross will tip off at 7 p.m. on the Patriot League Network, as will Army and American. The Eagles will travel to West Point to try and pick up their first win of the season against the Black Knights after losing by a combined total of four points in the two games. We definitely didn't play um, poorly against Army, so I think we need to take uh, what we learned from last game, and which was really not wasting any possessions. I think there were a few possessions here and there that we um, turned the ball over and they really mattered. So not that we played poorly against them the first time, but we really need to execute every possession and that's something that we can definitely learn and bring to our game when we play them. I mean, American is a really tough team and they are a top three team in the league for a reason. And I mean, we kind of came away very lucky in the game at their place and we know that we were lucky. I mean, we played pretty well here against them, but they played pretty well also. I mean, this game is just going to be as close a game as it has been the past two times this season, and there's no way around that because both of us are very competitive, and, you know, we have the capability and, like, the player personnel to be in the championship game.
Army's personnel includes a two-time defending player of the year in Kelsey Minato, who is averaging 21.8 points per game. For Hazlett, it's a blast to play with the sophomore sensation. You just have that trust and that, you know, that assurance with your teammates. And not just with Kelsey, but with everyone on the team, you know, if if I'm struggling, I just I just know that someone on the team will step up and uh, and they have every single game, you know, and just playing with Kelsey, she's just one of the probably smartest players that I've ever played with. And it's just, it's a good feeling. It's a calming feeling, I guess, for me to have her on the court because she keeps me a little more level than I usually am. So she's that, she's that level factor for me because I'm the more emotional one, but yeah. For more information on all of the games in both the men's and women's Patriot League tournaments, log on to PatriotLeague.com. And for full highlights and features, log on to PatriotLeague.tv. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plasky.